How do you so think about I that? personally think that kombucha is nowhere near its full potential. And I do think that it's about a billion dollar category right now. Um, half of which is tied up in one brand who's been around for 25 years doing it, almost doing like a homebrew method. And I would say that their brand and product is particularly polarizing to most people. Um, either people love it, which I get, or they won't, they won't touch it. And that's kind of concerning, you know, for the category, in my opinion. And so, uh, first of all, going back to the philosophy of how it should be brewed, I have a differing opinion on that thinking, you know, I'm a big believer it should stay very tea forward and stay, be a smooth drinking experience. And so I think that inherently that will adopt more people uh, and attract more people into the category. As long as the education piece is there and people can understand why they should be drinking kombucha and, oh, it's like not a, they're not settling to incorporate that or make that choice in their day, which I don't think with better booch they are. So I think that that will take time to prove out, but you know, there's studies after study, after study, uh, especially coming out, there's one last week from Stanford that was basically comparing fermented foods like a kombucha versus other products that are just like high in fiber. Cause that's another big trend. And what they found was the high in fiber didn't do a whole lot for biodiversity, but the fermented foods also had a lot to do with biodiversity and also decreased inflammation markers. So that's the big, I mean, things that we've believed in and known inherently over the years are becoming, are getting finally proved out through clinical research. And I think the more that that happens, the more people understand why they should drink something like a kombucha. And, uh, this day and age, like who doesn't have an issue with inflammation, right? Like I think, yeah, yeah, I think totally. like it, it, how easy can, are we solving that by making better boots, something to just pick over a soda, you know? So I think when you do that, you're talking about the soda market, which is 250 billion. So literally 250 times the kombucha side market. So I really do believe kombucha is just in the very early innings. And I think it will take a brand like Better Booch to broaden the category. We can't do it ourselves probably, but it'll certainly take products like ours to help, you know, expand and attract new people into the category. So I'd like to see that through, you know, I want to see, I would like to see kombucha reach its full potential. 